quality music and putting it out there. But getting back to the shows and everything, um, officially now, um, let them know what's happening, man. I know you guys got the merch and everything coming, man. I seen it. Uh, let them know what's cracking right now. Actually, it feels good to get back in the groove and actually get back to, you know, taking baby steps to get back to work. So we have, there's a lot of things in the works right now. Um, I'm actually working on a, a couple different things right now i just signed a production deal with a company called happy jack um they do um king of the hill they do rick and morty they do um the simpsons all the animation so man about when scoop was a baby i had um uh, wrote him some letters and some things like that when he was younger and one of the things that i did was I came up with this cartoon called the balloon heads and if people know me personally they know they know what I'm talking about right now about the balloon heads um and I would just draw these balloon balloons with faces on them with crazy character faces on them and and from that I would make these little captions on them and all that and I never thought that it would go to another level but um actually getting picked up for adult swim now and we're about to come out with a cartoon so that's uh we've been working on that for a while now and actually i'm working on a, with that we're signing i'm doing um a full animation like a disney animation called kukan like a native american indian story that i wrote with uh cesario montano block and uh what up block you're amazing dog. yeah and um so yeah, you're amazing, Block. <laughs> so, so we wrote this story, man, and and uh, from that, man, we got we got signed to a, the production deal with Happy Jack. So we've been sitting down with these animators and having a blast, bro. Like just sitting down with these with these dudes that did King, of, like I said, King of the Hill, The Simpsons, Rick and Morty. If you've seen any of those cartoons, then you kind of know like these guys are way out, man. They're just, and to sit down with them at a table and actually go into negotiations and talking about my cartoon is, is, is pretty crazy. So we got, we got that in the works. We actually, we're actually in negotiations right now for my life, my life story, my life works. Um, they're buying the portion of, of me, Rhythm and Scoop when we were coming up and actually when I got Rhythm, when I first got my son, and uh, we're, actually we're actually working, we're actually, we're actually gonna work. We're actually, um, we start Friday with the actual writing of a mini series for HBO. So we're actually right there with HBO as well. That's, that's fucking dope, man. And, and for, the, for those that don't know, I mean, when he says Scoop, it, it's a, you know, he, a producer that you, if you don't know already, I know you've heard all, a lot of his songs, but you will know soon if you don't already, but Scoop DeVille, man, he's doing a lot of big things and, and he's already done a lot of big things. I, I was gonna ask you about that. We, we've talked about it before, Frost, but, um, to see it come full circle like that with your son, the, the, the talent that, that he don't know has honed in from being on the stages with you since he was a, a, a toddler, bro, um, to the, the talent that a lot of he's accumulated along the way. Wow, amazing. Yeah, amazing. I mean, even if he wasn't, my son and I seem just a young Latino that had that track record at that age i mean he produced the mama see the track for baby bash at 13 and was already with a top 40 record and then i mean did life of the party with mr fab too short wow and snoop yeah. then did the Amazing. i want to rock I mean, record with snoop was, did the ha ha record my fat joe did the calm down the record with that eminem and Busta that Rhymes. Record at that age. did um man he did uh the, the, the hot baby dollar bash record the streets on lock was already with a um did and then, all the way up to I women mean, weed and weather did, with kendrick Life lamar so i mean the track record is actually pretty impeccable man for a young latino that has has done that much work in that short period of time 
and I think he still hasn't got his full recognition as a producer. And I think a lot of it has to do with him being, you know, a young Chicano from East LA to coming up and representing that. It just seems like he's right there, bro. He's just right there from his and that short big time, big record. I see him. I see him now. He's working with Usher. He's working with Miguel. He's working with Producer. And I think a lot of it has to do with me. Snoop, so, being, I mean, you know, you know, he's out there doing a lot of stuff, not a, and then his own stuff, that, you know, he's got that like, higher record out, he's right, right there, bro. Shout out to my right son, there. Scoop DeVille, and that's big, time, big record, I see him, I see him now, he's working with Usher, he's working with Miguel, he's working with Houston, and I think he's not going out there, like, he's not going out there, like, he's not going out there, like, not on that, his own stuff, you know, he's got that higher record out, right there, you find out, Shout out to my son, Scoop DeVille. Yeah, he's, he's very humble. He's, uh, he's remained very humble and he's, man, he appreciates the music part of it. And, and he's not only a producer, but he's also a fan of hip hop. And he really appreciates the core structure of the, the foundation. You know what I mean? Of, of hip hop. So he gets it. I, I yeah, remember he's, even he's very back humble. After, he's, uh, you know, he's remained very humble and, and he's he had and all that and stuff. He appreciates after the music all part of it. And, he's and still be right he's there not there only a and, producer, you know, he's but he's also a fan of hip hop. And he really appreciates the dope DJ too. Yeah, yeah. The dope DJ as well. Oh, and the DJ. Hey, speaking of that, man, one of the dopest shows, people, you know, they really liked it. It was a good concept, but we did that one. Throwback joint uh, that I want to show you through. We had Blue Mad Spinning, fucking uh, uh, Last One, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, that, was, that was a dope event. Everybody, everybody yeah, came yeah, out yeah, dressed yeah, up. Oh, it was pretty dope. Yeah, we're back, man. What are the dopest shows? Yeah, we actually are. Now, now that we're back, man, now that we're out of the, the initial part of the open heart surgery and we're we're actually getting back on our, on our feet again, man, we... We have a lot of things in the works. Like I'm, like I'm out there doing so much right now to actually secure the brand. So we're really working on the feature. And yeah, we actually are. The mini now that we're together for HBO, that we're that's like the, my main the part of the main priority and focus right now. We're actually and then back on man, the shows and the out there with a lot of crowds and the, the fans like, and out there slaying like, merch and doing all that out is, there doing is so what I love, man. And, right and now, it's me the energy to keep your brand. Keep so going, really man. Without the fan base, without the love yeah, of my yeah, fans, we are into that now that we're getting for HBO now that years, that's that's like and all that, my man, part of the man, I don't think of that right now. We would have been able to get back on man, the show we are right now, and now we have a lot of crowds. I think I was funny. Walking and standing up that way. I was, man. I went from the surgery to walking. He's so two feet out to the now. Which I'm putting miles in every day. Walk that now. It's good, man. Get your walk in and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's been documenting that. You know, part of the journey as well. The show we are right now. And I'm in that background. Hey, but what's it like, though? I mean, after the little hiatus, you know, let me ask you a question. Like the real fans do when he got back on the stage. Get your walk in and all that. That was a big deal, bro. That was a big deal, bro. That was a big deal, bro. Yeah, like, like I said earlier, man, it, just, it took a minute for us to get back on because if Ross wasn't going to do 110%, we weren't going to get back on. He called me, hit me up. We wondered about a few shows ahead of time, even sooner than we actually came back. And he asked me, and I was like, no, not yet, bro. Like, no, if you can't, if, if you ain't ready to do that 110, we're good because I already know Frost. Even if he's not ready to do the 110, he'll do it. And then he'll feel it after. Because and there's no point in doing that really, you know. So yeah, but as far as the way everyone's seen it right now, the ones who actually didn't really follow maybe what he's been going through, they have no idea. When he performs out there, no idea. They have no idea what he go we go through backstage. Little things that we kinda of deal with because you can't tell us. You know, and there's so many people that even are not following us on social media that run into us on a daily in the street. They're like, oh. And they're like, Hey, what you been what you been doing? And I'm like, Well, 
for our uh, uh, second phase of cardiac rehab right now from open heart surgery. And they're like, what? No way, like, what you, I'm like, yeah. Oh, we said all the time, social social man, as far as even traveling, to us you know, they just see that, you know, they're following just the flyers and the shows and the exciting stuff, but not the actual real life backstory of things. And then once they hear and they're like, oh my God, I had no idea. You know, Shout out to my doctors and, and everybody that, no man, way, that stayed like, with me and, and oh, seen my dedication like, and yeah. dedicated themselves more to make sure that I was cool. So life was with me through the whole thing. I mean, from the beginning, he came there the day of surgery. Stay with me from the beginning and even waited for those nine hours until Shout I out to my dog operating room and everybody that first one no man way, right there, right right there, there. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's, that's, that's that real shit now that you know. Uh, and I always tell people like hip hop gets its bad raps all the time, but hip hop is the the most genuine fucking thing they waited for those nine hours. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. We're family first, we don't. Don't work with each other necessarily. I do go I do go eat at his yeah. mom's house. Yeah. At his house on a regular. He co he comes on Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yeah. yeah. We, we're, it's and mom's cool. always greets me with a, with such a warm hug and she never lets me go home without she knows that I'm you know single dad raising rhythm. So she I do go I do go eat at his mom's house. Yeah. I never at his house back, but on a regular. <laughs> <laughs> she gives me Tupperware. Yeah. You don't have to buy Tupperware in the yeah. way. Yeah. 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 He's already stocked up. It's going to be the new Frost collection. Uh, Tupperware, man. Yeah. 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 I want to thank you for coming through, dog, because, uh, you know, know so like I said, we go back to the house. I do go to the house. I do go to the house. I never go to the house. I got to go to the house. She gives me Tupperware. Oh, we're in the studio right now working on three albums back to back, man. We just we just got out of the studio. Studio Saturday with Tank, man. We're in there with Big Tank Boss. We, we're in there at Icon. We're in there at Icon, and we're actually doing uh, we're actually doing an album right now with Brainiac Beats and Chris Beats right now. So we just went and, we just went and bought a gang production from Brainiac. Oh, we're in the studio. Man, we're in the studio right now. We're spanning the album coming out and, and we just putting that production down with us. And, man, I, I love the tracks. And then we're actually working on an all live album right now with D Salas with some of the players in the Tierra now. Man, you guys are not ready. Yeah, yeah, you're not ready for the live yeah. album, man. That, 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 we, we, I, I saw, man. I saw you uh, post something, but it was a studio with a little sprinkle. Like, all right, this is what's coming. Like, you ready? Coming, like, you ready? Yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah, I, was I was remember thinking man, to myself, uh, uh, shit, like, like, this has been working for a long time. You know what I'm saying? This has been waiting to happen, bro. Shout out to D. Salas and all that down there. Yeah, you're not ready for the live album, man. I think it's a man. I saw you just play D. Salas and do a little while. You know, Brown ALT. Shout out to ALT and for everything that he gone through this year, man. Losing his, yeah. losing, for losing his daughter, bro. And man, condolences to the fam, bro. And I know how strong you are, man. And I seen you and your inner strength come out, man, during all this, man. I love you, bro. You know, Brown shout out to shout outs to everybody that's still yeah. on the team with us, man, the Hennessy Lounge with Geeky and the Shout out to the ALT. Everybody, you know what I mean, that's, that's still showing love and support, man, that, that's out there you know, and giving us love, man. Shout out to, to D in Southland and all the boys out there, the two big leg, everybody out there, man. Shout out to Bash and Frankie J, man. Me and Frankie J are getting ready to knock out a joint of the live album that we just finished right now, so get ready for that. A real heartfelt cut, man. Real heartfelt cut. That's just um, me as a fan. I want to do it. Um, man, in fact, tomorrow I'll be in the studio, man. And you know what? We're recording right here in Covina at D Sala. So, man, I, I want you to get ready for that. Yeah, I want you to. Man, you got to come through, man, and come and hang out with us, man. So you can come and, come and peep it out, man, and check out what we're doing. We'll be working tomorrow, in fact. Tomorrow all day. Um, so, man, I. Uh, man, I I'm man, just, man, like I say, man, every day on this side of the dirt, and you know what? Every day, man, is a new 
I just be for a day. I embrace it. I want you to be You got to come blessed to be alive. I'm so blessed to still be here standing. There's so many of us that didn't get this opportunity with what I went through, man. Their lives got cut short over the same thing that I went through, man. So to go through it every day and see that that zipper, you know, on my chest and and look at it every morning when I get up, man. I I attack the day with as much bigger and as much as you know as I can to put out with everything that I can in my heart, man. So that I I feel I ran the pace just in case and something happens like that. Go to my ear and see that we applaud you for that, my brother. And you know what? I look at it every morning when I get up. I I attack the day with as much bigger and as much as you know as I can to put out with everything. And thank God I, I picked thank God I picked an occupation like hip hop that keeps you young. You know what I mean? This 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 keeps you young, man. And I don't think if I had any other occupation, I don't think I'd be here, man. May 31st, I turned 57 years old, man, and I I don't feel it at all, man. So and, and, and you know what? Still running laps around. Thank God I, I picked. Yeah, that's what it is. Right. The OG, <laughs> Kid Frost right here, DJ Soul Life you know in the building. This, we thank you for coming through and sprinkling us. I don't think and you know what? Uh, we're going to see what, how we end the show. I don't think I'll be here to make it to the first. I don't feel it at all, man. So. And, and, and.